This video is for educational and entertainment use only. The views in this video do not necessarily represent the views or life of Marlon so, Dixon. Rule 35, if it's your first time bumping into it, this is what it is. It's, it's, it's just like the 5K1, but it's different. 5K1, before you get sentenced. Rule 35, after you get sentenced. Welcome back to the All Gale Kingpins YouTube channel where we talk about confidential informants. If it's your first time bumping into the channel and the videos, consider liking, subscribing, make sure you comment down below, but also make sure you watch the entire video before you decide. If you watch the entire video and it's information that's prevalent into your life and that you like to hear, subscribe and hit the bell so you get all the notifications when we come out. Copy some of the All Gale Kingpins apparel. As well as make sure you hit the like button because with the like button we beat the youtube algorithm to get the video out to more people to grow the channel so i told y'all in the last video i have something new for y'all back on my phone so now on my phone once again like i tell you this is a computer this is not a phone so let me reiterate that this is a computer not a phone you use this for research don't use it to hello don't keep doing it this is for research and you can research way faster because you have it in the palm of your hand but in this one, let's talk about something that's just like the 5K1 downward departure, but it's a different name. We're going to talk about the Rule 35 motion. A Rule 35 motion is a motion filed by a prosecutor under the authority granted by Rule 35B of the Federal Rules of Criminal Procedure. It asks a court to reduce a previously imposed sentence based on substantial assistance by a defendant provided after sentencing and i'm going to shout out james h feldman because i got that from james h feldman.com so rule 35 it means you was already sentenced you you you, you already sentenced you you already went to jail so you're already either in jail or you already on your way headed to jail because you got you know how many years you already finna get because they gave them to you already. And then you gave up information. So now the 50 K1 is you is gonna get your sentence downward departure before you get sentenced. Now rule 35 says you're gonna get a downward departure after you get sentenced. Imagine if they get a downward departure for the 5 K1, then they sentence. And then they get another downward departure for the Rule 35. You wonder how these people is going to jail and getting out. You wonder how they going to jail and getting out so fast. This is how. They are getting their sentence reduced after they got sentenced, which means after they already got sentenced to jail and went in there. So these are two different rules that brings down the sentences, but it helps the the informants to bring down kingpins or bring down just regular other people that's doing crime and commit crime because all this information it overloads the criminal justice system with more criminals to try to potentially turn a lot of these criminals or potential criminals into informants to help them to get the people that is doing crime so rule 35 is this your first time bumping into it this is what it is it's different it's, it's just like the 5k1 but it's different 5K1 before you get sentenced. Rule 35 after you get sentenced. Now, let's get into it. So, now we got somebody that, that just got sentenced to 40 years. He already started. He five years into a sentence. He on the phone. Somebody tell him about a murder that just happened in the hood. Now, he got the information on a murder and know who did the murder. He, hey, I want to talk to my lawyer. Now, he called his lawyer. His lawyer come to the... Hey, look, I got, I got information uh, on a murder. And if you go tell the judge that they use that Rule 35 to, you know, kind of lower my sentence so I can get out in 30 years instead of 40 years, I tell them who, who killed, whoever killed who. Next thing you know, they write the paperwork up. He signed the paperwork. He tell them so-and-so, so-and-so shot so-and-so, so-and-so. So-and-so, so-and-so out. Like, man, who? So niggas telling. It's, it's, oh, my God. When I say... It's so much to this telling stuff that y'all got to understand how deep it goes. You wonder how people in jail be knowing what, what's going on on the outside world and they in jail because people was on the phone calling people every day, all day. They talking to people, people telling them everything because they thinking that, hey, you in jail, you can't do nothing or you don't understand nothing. Or, hey, man, I, I got some information that could possibly get you out, big bro. Let me go ahead and tell you this. Yeah, so, 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 so did this. Hey, go tell them people so you can, I ain't got to snitch. You, you can snitch so you can come on early. 
So it's like, wow. You really understand that these is the rules and the understanding of the laws. And it's like, these is also mixed with the street guys. A lot of these street guys have used this Rule 35 to come home early. We just don't know it. We wonder how the feds ran the so-and-so, so-and-so crib, and then so-and-so, so-and-so come to the crib real early. But we ain't linking the two. We not linking the two. He had one of the little guys that knew about that situation tell him the information. He gave up the information to come home early. But that person got locked up. Nobody never thought about it being a little guy. Why? Because he was still around. He, he, I know he ain't tell because he was right here. But the whole time, he ain't tell. He told somebody else that told to come home early. So this, I told y'all, it get deep. It get deep. This is how deep it get. Shout out to the real Rick Ross once again. His plug was locked up. They allowed his plug to get out just to set him up. Then he got a check after he set him up and was able to go to his own country and open up a business. This is what people was doing. Y'all want to have people coming home from the feds and they got all this money all of a sudden. They might be working. They might be working. They was already working in them. Now they on the outside, they really working. Because I told you, once they get you to do something, it's more likely they can get you to do it again. So we're going to stick to this rule 35. I'm going to come back, go a little deeper in the next video so you guys can understand. So like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below, donate to the channel. Copy you some of the Augeo King Pants apparel. I told you, you think it's cool, do you think it's not cool? Me, I'm unbiased because I understand the law and I study the law. So I'm not for it, I'm not against it. I'm just understanding of the law and I'm just giving you guys this information for you to understand that these are the laws and these are some of the rules that you may not know about. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Rule 35. This video is for educational and entertainment use only. The views in this video do not necessarily represent the views or life of Marlon Dixon. <laughs>